There are new developments this morning after another night of violence in Grand Rapids, which included a young child being shot. 13 on your side, Shanna Grove joins us live with details on a violent 48 hours in the city. Shanna. Good morning, Meredith. That's right. I'm live here outside of the Grand Rapids Police Department headquarters, where later this morning they're going to have a press conference to address the recent string of violence in the city. And the latest victim is only two years old. That two year old was shot in the arm on the corner of Burton Street and Union Avenue. The child was taken to the hospital and is expected to be OK, but police say there is no suspect in this case. Also last night on the west side, a woman was hit in the face by glass that shattered during what appears to be a drive by shooting. This all came after a rash of violence Wednesday into Thursday morning with four separate shootings in just 10 hours in Grand Rapids. The first happened outside Wealthy Market yesterday afternoon. 23 year old Martel Phillips was killed. A suspect has been arrested in that case and a vigil for the victim Wednesday night ended in a big fight. Then at 10 o'clock Wednesday night, shots were fired near the corner of Wealthy Street in Eureka Avenue. A woman later said her car was hit by gunfire on Wealthy. Then at 1130, someone reported being shot near the corner of Wealthy and Diamond Avenue, and that person was shot four times, twice in each hand. Finally, at 1230 this morning, another vehicle was shot at near the corner of Temple and Butler, and it is not clear if these shootings are connected. In the homicide Wednesday outside Wealthy Market was the 19th in the city so far this year, and that already surpasses the total number last year, and it's only July. Clearly so much going on here, so Police Chief Eric Payne will address the press coming up at 1030 this morning, and we'll bring that to you live at 13onyourside.com.